Jesus said, from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, no human being must separate. <laughs> You look good. Thank you. Beautiful. I do too. So we know the true definition of love is the good, the good, the will, of, the will, the good of others. And so, in doing so, they will exercise their their call to a love God with all their heart and mind and soul, and and to love one another, because we know love. It's just is more than just feelings and passion. It is commitment of self-sacrifice and selflessness. When Shannon first told me about Jordan, I was absolutely pumped. Um, he sounded like everything that she has wanted and more. And let's be honest, the fact that she gets to be around her cows was probably the best part. So let's raise our glasses to Shannon and Jordan. May your lives be filled with endless love, laughter, and joy. Shannon, you've always been there for me, and I am so grateful to see you happy. Jordan, thank you for bringing so much joy into Shannon's life. Here's to a lifetime of adventures, shared dreams, and happiness. Congratulations, Shannon and Jordan. <laughs> By the grace of God, they be strengthened and blessed in their in their marriage, and they will enter into a covenant between themselves that cannot be broken, a permanent covenant, an everlasting covenant. It is a permanent union of life and love. And it's a great blessing in their sacred union as they come together so that God will help them and assist them in the good times and in the bad. And we know there's great challenges as we live today, as always. And so God will be with them as he promises to be. And so beginning their marriage and this gathering together and this glorious celebration, they will strive to reflect God's love by their marriage. God's love for us is unconditional and he wants to be with us because he created us in his likeness, in his image. On the first reading from Genesis, he created the male and female and made them in his image with great patience and love and charity and kindness and forgiveness and of service, all these things, the attributes of God. And so as the first parents, we're told to be fertile and multiply and to dominion over all living things. So we strive to do the same for ourselves living today. Now let us humbly invoke God's blessing upon this bride and groom, that in his kindness he may favor with his help those on whom he has bestowed the sacrament of matrimony. O God, who by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you have set in place the beginnings of the universe, form man and woman in your own image, making the woman an inseparable helpmate to the man, that they might no longer be two but one flesh and taught that you were pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery, 
that in the wedding covenant you foreshadow the sacrament of Christ in his church. Dearly beloved, we have come together in the house of, of the church, that in the presence of Christ, minister in the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses this love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he's already consecrated by holy baptism, so that they may be faithful to each other forever and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so in the presence of the church, I ask you to state your intentions. Jordan and Shannon, if you come here to enter into marriage without corrosion, freely and wholeheartedly, yeah. are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? It is indeed my honor and pleasure to introduce you, Jordan and Shannon Lyer. Let's give him a round of applause.